If you are looking for the two bedroom unit, this video is just for you. Generally, two bedroom is usually the sweet spot for most of the home buyers. However, not every two bedroom is a good buy. So you have to focus on the best layout with higher demand. But how do you know which type of the two bedroom has the best exit strategy? Today's video, I will share with you my 10 tips on how to choose the best two bedroom unit. Hello, I'm your property strategist, Steven Chong. I appreciate your early thumbs up and click the subscribe button if you wish to see more video like this. First, let me show you one real life scenario here by comparing two projects side by side. One was completed in 2017, another one in 2020. Common sense, the younger condo is supposed to be more expensive than the older condo, right? But in this case study, I found out that the older one and the newer project are selling almost at the same price. And I'm going to show you why. In my opinion, it's the layout that makes the huge difference. Now, let's compare their two bedroom floor plan. Both bedrooms for project A are proper size that can fit in a king and a queen size bed. But the second bedroom of project B can only fit in a single bed. Proper bedroom size is very important, especially for your future resale. Generally, the master bedroom must be at least 10 square meter and not inclusive of the attached bathroom. A proper second bedroom should be able to fit in a queen size bed. So how about the unit size? Too small, not livable, your future buyers will complain. But too big, it will be out of their budget. So good size, but not too big. So for two bedroom, the size around 600 to 800 square feet is the sweet spot for your best exit strategy. Okay, first time buyers, I always notice that many of you always focus just on the unit size. For example, one is 900 square feet, another one is 700 square feet. You may assume that the 900 square feet has a bigger living space. But the fact is, you really must see if there is any wasted space. For example, this unit size is 980 square feet. It looks super huge for a two bedroom, but end up 20% actually goes to the balcony, planter, and bay window. Well, other than unit size, another important factor is the regular shape. For example, the 689 square feet at Commonwealth Towers is much more popular than the 797 square feet type because the rectangular and the squarish shape is easier for your furniture placement. And that's why some odd shape units may face difficulty to sell fast. In the recent years, dumbbell layout is getting more popular and trendy. Dumbbell layout meaning one bedroom on the left, another bedroom on the right. However, there is advantage and disadvantage for the dumbbell layout. The best two bedroom dumbbell layout that I have seen is actually the BP3 type in Clairvon. But if you choose the conventional layout, meaning with both the bedrooms on the same side, you may want to choose the corner unit. Okay, why I say that for conventional layout, you should go for the corner unit because it has the walkway corridor to your bedrooms and bathrooms. So if you are not the corner unit, meaning your bathroom don't have any windows and it could be very dark and humid. I may do another video to compare in between the dumbbell layout and the conventional layout. Talking about corner unit is the best that if you could have. Otherwise, you may want to go for the unit that next to the corner so that less people walk past and better privacy. If you choose the corner unit, your kitchen will be enclosed tight with window. Usually, the enclosed kitchen comes with the gas stove instead of the induction. If not, it's better to choose the semi-enclosed type kitchen that looks like this. URL's project usually comes with this type of two-bedroom layout. 
For kitchen, in my opinion, avoid the one straight line kitchen along the entrance. Otherwise, you do not have a proper kitchen corner. The entrance walkway could be always oily. This kind of design is very common for the one bedroom design. But for the two bedroom type, try to avoid this kind of layout unless you don't have any other better choice. And lastly, aim for the two bed, two bath instead of the two bed, one bath if your budget allows. Nowadays, people like to play their phones while doing their big business in the toilet. So during the peak hours, one toilet may not be enough. Okay, to summarize today's video, here are the 10 tips for you. Number one, to have a proper bedroom size. For master bedroom, at least 10 square meter, excluding the attached bathroom. Unit size around 600 to 800 square feet. This is the sweet spot for your future exit strategy. Having little or no wasted space. Regular shed. Those come with the odd shed may take longer time to sell. Prefer dumbbell layout. This is now the trendy. For conventional layout, choose the corner unit if possible to maximize the windows and natural ventilation. If not, then choose the unit that next to the corner at least you have more privacy. Prefer enclosed or semi-enclosed kitchen so that your kitchen is really the kitchen separated from your living room. Avoid one straight line kitchen along the entrance. This type of layout is very common for the one bedroom, but I don't like this. And for the two bed, two bath, if your budget allows, so that you can cater more buyers and tenant pool. You may want to engage my service to select a good unit for you. Contact my WhatsApp at 9188 Once again, I'm Stephen Chong. Hope to see you soon. Bye.